volunteers. My name is Arden Kruger, and we opened our bakery November 1st, so we're nine months old now. It is a family-owned business. It's myself, my daughter Dana, my son Chad, and my husband Bruce. And I pretty much kind of instigated the beginning of Sweetie Pies about eight years ago. I entered a contest through the neighborhood newspaper, the Learner newspaper, and the Mighty Nice Grill, which is downtown, one of the Let Us Entertain You restaurants. And I was like one of a hundred entrants. You had to write a 75-word essay about why your apple pie was the best apple pie in the Chicagoland area. Then you had to also send in the recipe. So from the essay and the recipe, I was one of ten finalists. I won second place in that contest, which was pretty exciting. And then I entered another apple pie contest in the Lincoln Square, and that was with the Lincoln Square and the chopping block, and I won first place um, in that contest with the uh, apple pie. It's called the Apple Pie Crisp. It's a graham cracker crust and Granny Smith apples in the middle, and then a crisp topping. And it's one of our biggest sellers here, along with the uh, um, apple, the seasonal galettes that we make. Um, we make a lot of those. The apple galette is a big seller. And another big seller in our bakery are the Boston Cream Cupcakes, which is a vanilla cupcake with uh, pastry cream in the center, and then the top is poured on chocolate ganache. And everything we make here from scratch. So those are some of the big sellers in the bakery. We also sell some savory things. We also do sandwiches. In the winter we were making homemade soups, and we would rotate our soups. But primarily it's, you know, pies and cakes and brownies and bars and cookies. We make quiche every day. We sell really good coffee, teas, fresh fruit smoothies, bagels and cream cheese. So we do a variety of things. On our slow days, we experiment, which are Monday and Tuesday and Wednesdays usually. We're experimenting with some stuff for people that can't eat a lot of sugar. The apple galette is an excellent choice for them. And we're also having a sugar-free carrot loaf and banana, so we're kind of experimenting with different options for people that can't eat sugar at this point. I have a weakness for the cinnamon rolls that I make, and I learned how to make those from my mother-in-law. Especially in the morning when they're hot and fresh and they smell really good, it's hard to resist that. <laughs> so my husband and I will sometimes split one. Well, I've known about the Skokie Library for many years because my aunt used to work there. And I have had a library card from the Skokie Library before. But then, um, I forgot her name, someone came in and said, you know, businesses are able to get a library card through your business. So I've done that. And I have been there, and of course I've gotten books out on decorating cupcakes and cakes. So I've used some of your resources already, and you know, plan to come back often. Baking and decorating, you know, that's my forte, and that's what I would encourage. You know, we've talked about having some decorating classes here or birthday parties here where children can come and decorate, you know, depending on their age and, you know, do age-appropriate demonstrations or parties. If they're inspired and they enjoy it, then I think that would probably open their eyes that maybe I could do something and I could go to the library and research it or, you know, find other techniques or something to, you know. I don't know. I mean, of course, we'd like everybody in the community to stop by and visit Sweetie Pies. Uh, we love to take orders because we couldn't possibly make everything that we have on our menu every day, you know, but we certainly love to take orders. That way something is made fresh for you and to your specifications. And we just hope everybody would stop by and say hi.